Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about the string variable. So in the string variable, I'll talk about that how we can uh, declare the string variable. Uh, we can declare the string variable in single quotes or we can declare that uh, double quotes. How we can concatenate the string, how we can put the escape character, how we can calculate the string. So these are the uh, very basic stuff we'll talk about um, with the string variable. So if you need this documentation, uh, so you can access this documentation in my website. So if you visit that Snow Expert Rohit, uh, we have a documentation tab. Under this documentation, you can see the JavaScript JS documentation. If you click that, this PPT is accessible. If you want this PPT, and uh, this is the undergoing PPT, so we'll keep on adding those topic one by one. So right now you can see these JS variables and everything is there. We'll keep updating on that. But if you want, you can uh, directly. Uh, uh, get from my website and uh, I have created a separate playlist for the JavaScript. I'll keep adding on those video on this channel. You can go and check that. So without wasting time, let's get started. So very first thing is that how we can declare the variables or how we can declare the string variable. So first um, that to declare that uh, string variable you just need to type the var and then you need to be uh, put that any variables any uh, character st or something like that and equal to now in the javascript you can put um, uh, any variable to or anything uh, just by uh, var keyword you can declare any type of variable so let's say uh, first we'll say that hello so this way we can declare a variable string variable okay now if we type that gs.info and then here we if we type that str um, whatever value or whatever uh, text we have uh, put that everything will be uh, printed here so let, let's run that you can see hello keyword is uh, 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 printing right now now if we want to check that uh, variable type so we can just put that uh, type of and then space then variable name so it will show you that which type variable it is. So if I try to run that, this saying that this is a string type variable. Okay. So basically type of method will help you to understand which type of variable it is. So if I type that uh, simple two and run that, so uh, you can see it is showing the number. So whenever uh, I mean to declare the variable in um, um, in JavaScript, you just need to put the J var keyword and then after that, based on your input, you are putting number or you are putting string based on that, the, uh, the variable type will be uh, declared. So JavaScript is uh, enough, smart enough to understand that which type of variable you are putting right now. So we can put uh, the, uh, we can declare the variable, uh, string variables in a single uh, double quotes. Similarly, if we put the single quotes, we can declare that and the same way. So there is no issues, either you can put the double quotes or single quotes. So let me uh, run one more time and see. Again, if we run in a single quotes, it can be, you uh, know, um, uh, we can be put that, okay? Then why uh, JavaScript giving you the opportunity to put double quotes or single quotes? So JavaScript is giving you the opportunity to put the single quotes. Let's say uh, you are putting that um, uh, single quotes, okay? So I'm assuming that you declare the variable is uh, single quotes. Now, if you want to type that, hello, I can't, hear you so if this keyword you want to put right so system will start the system will give you an error why because your uh, starting character is from here and you are ending here and there is no again starting so that's the reason system will give you an error so if i run this one and try to print that value uh, my system will give me so if we run that, the system will give you an error because this uh, statement is not completed properly. So in that case, what you can do, instead of single quotes, you can just replace with double quotes here. So uh, you can just put the double quotes and you can run that. So in that case, system will know that. So this is the character starting with the double quotes. It means that in between any single quotes, system will uh, understand it's a special character, okay? So this way you can, uh, you know, avoid the special character. Similarly, let's say if you are starting with double quotes and you can say that hello, and then if you want to say that hello, uh, Ram uh, said something like that, 
and then if you want to uh, start with that um, uh, system will again give you the error because it is starting from here and ending here in between some of the uh, you know special things so if I run that system will give me an error okay so in that case what we can do we can put the special correct I mean we can put that single quotes to avoid this situation so if we put the single quotes then the single quote if the string is started here and ending here in between there is some special character system will detect that it's a special character and it will be a uh, walk as per this our expectation so that the think about that what type of uh, text it is coming and then you can define that single quotes or double quotes there is no issues in this javascript okay so uh, that part is covered now how we can concatenate the string so let's say uh, how we can concatenate something right so let's say i am declaring the first uh, name okay f name equal to rohit okay and then second name where uh, l name uh, equal to uh, now kumar okay now i want to put the first name for printing the first name i have to put the f name and run that so it is giving me the first name now i want to uh, put that last name so what i'll do i'll put the plus and then l name okay and run that so it will give me the first name and last name okay now i want to add some space in between these uh, rohit and kumar so what i'll do i will add uh, one double quotes or single quotes and space and plus okay so what will be happen the first name will be the variables or something like that and then here we can uh, say the plus sign and here we are hard coding a space and then plus la l name so last name so first name is a variable then we are putting plus then we are uh, putting the quotes and here we are putting hard coded space then uh, plus then l name now if we run that it will give me a, a space so rohit space kumar now let's say i want to put some hard coded value also before that so what i can say my name is this character i want to put that and then i will uh, do the space so what will be happen this is my hard coded string called my name is space it is coming from a variable one then space it is coming in another variable so this way also you can concatenate your string so you can see right now it is showing that my name is Rohit Kumar so this way you can concatenate your string now next thing is that uh, let's say let's assume that um, if I go back to here we need to be talk about the escape character right so let's go back and i'll remove everything right now let's say um here i'll say hi and then comma okay i'm typing that um that string is coming in a, a format hi and then i'm putting that um you know, uh, my name is rohit okay so this is pretty much simple thing um, we have done so far so if I copy and paste here and run what will be happen these things will be printed out right so this thing is printed out now what I need I need to print this my name is Rohit into next line right how can we do that for that what I have to do I have to put some special character slash and n slash is starting with this if you want to do some special operation we started with the slash and say slash n okay now if i say uh, enter you can see the string is coming high comma then it is coming in next line next line is name is rohit okay so this way we can do some special uh, character operation also let's say previously i show you that uh, if i want to quote right rohit here right so if i want to put on uh, double quotes what i can do if i run it will give in me error right i can uh, remove that in a single quotes and that can be worked similarly using the special character also you can uh, do that so you can simply slash and then double quote so system will know that this is a special character and if i put the slash and then double quotes system will not um, you know replace or something it will be treated as a special character and it will not give an error so let's write now you can see hi my name is 
and then in the double code it is showing the Rohit. It is not giving me the error. So by the escape character, so whenever we put the uh, slash system will detect its special character and each special character have a different different functionality. So slash can use for uh, you know um, next line. So now if I remove that uh, slash in and run, it will become in a single uh, uh, line, right? So if we put that slash uh, T and run that, you can see there are tap happen because uh, after high, I don't put any space. If you see my, uh, my code, I don't put any space. But as I said, that uh, slash T system automatically uh, uh, determine and put the slash t means the tab its system put some tab and create some gap and put that uh, into that uh, in between that character so this way you can put some special character or escape character using that you can do i mean you can um, you know add some special functionality in your string next thing i want to talk about the string length i want to check that what is the string length we can definitely check that for that what we uh, like the array we are getting the index so when you declare the string right so it will be uh, declared as a I'll just remove unnecessary stops right now so when I declare the hi my name okay so this is my character right so <coughs> like array string also have a index so how do they check that index so it will start it from zero and it is zero one there is space 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So my, if I put the length and run that, it will give me that uh, 10. So 4 to 6, 7, 8. Uh, so 4 to 6, 7, 8 and there is 2 space. Total 10 character we have. So it will give me the length 10. So, uh, so length is 10 and index started with 0. Now, if you see here, so this is my uh, length is 10, right? But my index will be always started with the zero. So let's say I want to access my last character. So my last length is the, my last index is nine, right? So we'll put the nine and it will give me that E. So if I put uh, uh, here, it give me the E. It means that if I want to access the last character, I can access through the uh, index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Similarly, if I want to access the first character, I should, as I said, the index is always started with the 0. If I uh, hit that, it will return me the age. So if I run here, you can see I am able to access the age. So, uh, so that's it all about today's and next sessions we'll talk about that uh, string operation. Um, thank you very much. Have a great day.